Okay, today we're going to talk about absorbent and non-absorbent materials. What is absorbent materials? Okay, absorbent materials can absorb water because they allow water to zip in. Okay, how about non-absorbent materials? What is non-absorbent materials? Okay, non-absorbent materials do not absorb water because they do not let the water to zip into them. Okay, our sentence structure is what is it? Answer, it's a blank or it's a blank. Is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Answer, it's blank. For our vocabulary, we have blocks, teddy bear, crumpled paper, towel, sponge, Tissue paper, mug, pot, umbrella, rubber boots, and rubber gloves. Okay, I want you to watch a video about absorbent and non-absorbent materials. One day, Michael's mother was mopping the floor. Suddenly... Michael accidentally spilled his milk on the table, and the tablecloth got wet. His mother told him not to worry, because the tablecloth absorbs water. That is why it is wet, she explained. Then she told him to look around the kitchen, to see if there was anything else in there that absorbed water. Michael thought to himself. Then he noticed that a plate cannot absorb water but the sponge can. The floor can't absorb the water, but the mop can. The fork, spoon, mug, and pan can't absorb water, but the towel can. The table can't absorb water, but the tissue can. Suddenly, it started to rain. The window was open and the curtain absorbed the rain. Michael's mother asked him to shut the window. Aha! The curtain absorbs water too. Those are examples of absorbent and non-absorbent materials. Okay. For our vocabulary, the first one we have blocks. Blocks. Let's spell B-L-O-C-K-S. Blocks. Blocks is an example of absor uh, non-absorbent materials. Again, blocks is non-absorbent materials. Okay, next we have teddy bear. Teddy bear. Let's spell D-T-E-D-D-Y-B-E-A-R. Teddy bear. Teddy bear is and absorbent materials again absorbent materials next we have crumpled paper let's spell crumpled paper c r u m p l e d p a p e r crumpled paper okay crumpled paper is absorbent absorbent Next, we have towel. Let's spell T-O-W-E-L. Towel. Towel is absorbent materials. Next, we have sponge. Sponge. Let's spell S-P-O-N-G-E. Sponge. Sponge is absorbent material next we have tissue paper tissue paper let's spell t i s s u e p a p e r tissue paper okay tissue paper is an example of absorbent materials again 
absorbent materials. Next vocabulary is mug. Mug. Let's spell mug. M-U-G, mug. Okay. A mug is an example of non-absorbent materials. Again, non-absorbent. Next vocabulary, pot. Pot. Let's spell pot. P-O-T, pot. Good job. Pot is non-absorbent materials. Next, we have rubber boots. Rubber boots. Let's spell R-U-B-B-E-R. B-O-O-T-S. Rubber boots. Okay. Rubber boots is an example of non-absorbent materials. Next, we have umbrella. Umbrella. Let's spell U M. B R E L L A. Umbrella. Umbrella is an example of non absorbent materials. Good job. Okay, next we have rubber gloves. Rubber gloves. Let's spell R U B B E R G L O V E S. Rubber gloves. Okay, rubber gloves is an example of non-absorbent materials good job okay next now let's practice okay what is it everybody what is it it's a teddy bear it's a teddy bear is it absorbent or non-absorbent okay the answer it's absorbent good job okay next vocabulary What is it? Okay, let's answer. It's an umbrella. It's an umbrella. Is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Okay, very good. The answer is non-absorbent. Very good. Okay, next vocabulary we have. Okay, very good. What is it? Answer. It's a crumpled paper again it's a crumpled paper good job question is it absorbent or non-absorbent okay very good the answer is it's absorbent good job okay next vocabulary what is it answer it's a sponge it's a sponge is it absorbent or non-absorbent? The answer, it's absorbent. Very good. Okay, next vocabulary, we have block. Block. Okay, is it, what is it? Okay, it's a block. Is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Okay, very good. The answer, it's non absorbent very good student okay next we have tissue paper tissue paper what is it answer it's a tissue paper is it absorbent or non-absorbent the answer it's absorbent very good next we have rubber boots okay what is it it's a rubber boot. Okay. Is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Okay, very good. It's non-absorbent. Next, we have towel. What is it? Answer. It's a towel. Is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Answer. It's absorbent. Very good. Next, we have rubber gloves what is it it's a rubber glove is it absorbent or non-absorbent okay good job it's non-absorbent okay next we have this one what is it answer it's a pot 
Is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Okay, good job. It's non-absorbent. Okay, next we have mug. What is it? Is it's a mug again? It's a mug. Is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Okay, it's non-absorbent. Okay, let's have an activity. Absorbent or non-absorbent? Our vocabulary are towel, teddy bear, rubber gloves, rubber boots, crumpled paper, umbrella, sponge, and blocks. Okay, you are going to sort the materials, absorbent and non-absorbent. Okay, the first vocabulary is towel. Is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Okay, good job. Absorbent. How about a teddy bear? Absorbent or non-absorbent? Good job. Absorbent. Rubber gloves. Okay, is it absorbent or non-absorbent? Okay, it's non-absorbent. How about rubber boots? It's non-absorbent. How about crumpled paper? Good job. Absorbent. Umbrella. Non-absorbent. Sponge. Absorbent. Block. Absorbent. Okay, great job. Okay, for our worksheets, you are going to fill in the blanks by answering absorbent or non-absorbent. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and keep safe. Bye-bye.